Hello, great YouTubers. Welcome back. In this lesson, we will look at touch link and in touch skater. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe and also press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you are really benefiting from this tutorial series. Okay. Alright. So in this tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, touch link. Okay. So let me switch to our sub2 page. Alright. So with the object properties, uh, when you come to this section of it, you have a point called touch links. And then in this tutorial, we'll be looking at the user input touch link. That's the discrete analog and then string. Okay, so let's look at uh, the discrete one and then understand exactly what touch link is about. So let me cancel and then to illustrate this, I need to get a lamp. So I go to light, pick this particular lamp and then I click on OK. All right, and then I need to draw a button. Right, so let's say for instance, we want this button to control this lamp. So it's just behaving just like a normal switch. But in this case, you don't want a direct press to turn the switch on, but you need a pop-up. That's when touch links comes in. Okay, so I click on the property and then we do assignment. So we'll be using the, the tag, the lamp tag. So for now I go to this script because that's our first demonstration and then assign a lamp to it for now I already have a lamp assigned to it all right so if we look at the the properties here we have we have also key equi equivalent attached to it so if you want to assign any key for control we can also do that for now I can select let's say n to control this particular button and then if we want messages we can put in any message that we want so we can say lamp control now with everything set we click on ok and then ok here and then we need to assign the same tag to this particular lamp so i double click on it and then go to lamp say ok right so we've done our configuration if we want to change the test also we can right click and go to we go to substitute we go to substitute strings and then we can change this so if this one is our on and off we can say on stroke off i click ok and then we can see that the test has changed ok ok then we need to change the colors here we are having red and then green red for off and then green for on which is okay and then let's look at the the color for this also okay so we go to runtime and then see when i press the button immediately a dialog box pops up asking me whether i want to go on off or cancel currently because it's in off state you have the blue highlights on that particular key okay so i click on on and then we can see that the lamp is on when i go back and click it again off it comes back off i will use the key that we assigned to it which is n to control and immediately i press n it pops up and then i can choose which control i want to do and again okay so basically this uh, touch link will give you a pop-up information instead of controlling the item directly it will give you a pop-up that you can select from okay let's go back okay so this is the the digital side of the user touch link let's have a look at the string type okay so sometimes you want to display a message on screen or you want to display a user message on screen to do that one we make use of the string touch link so let's go to the wizard and then we go to test display and then we pick a message tag and we say okay okay 
so we have the message here we need to create a tag to receive the message so we double click on it and it can be any tag at all i think i have one in there so i have a, a string tag and we can see the memory type is supposed to be memory message i click on ok okay and then to display the specific information you need to click on the test and then you click here and then you type hash 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 three times you can double click and then assign the same tag name to it so we are using the string so i click on it okay so we have the tag name here but if you don't have it is the same procedure you double click and then look for the tag that you've created as selected we can also give it a key equivalent so let's say for instance if i type M is supposed to pop up the keypad where I'm supposed to enter the message okay and then if you want a pop-up key you can say yes if you do not you say no but for now we need it so we say yes you can give a user message but for now we we'll leave it as such I click OK OK again and then we can hit the runtime okay so you see that the first time nothing will display till you hit the the shots cut key that you assign to it which is M so we say M and immediately the pop-up window shows up then we can type our message you can type anything so in touch scada we click OK and then immediately you can display if you want to change the test you can just click on it again and then you can change it so basically this is how you can also make use of the touch link string we go back to the development page and move on to the next item so i click on this object let me draw a new object okay so we've been able to look at the discrete we've looked at the string we will be looking at the analog later now we can move to the sliders so what are basically the use of the sliders let's have a quick look and an example for you to understand clearly so let's say for instance let me minimize this i want to use this object to control the up and down movement of the slider instead of using this particular slider knob i want to use a different object you can do that using the slider the touch link sliders to do that so for now well, let's draw quickly our filling object we assign the vertical to it and we use the same slider name okay so we've assigned the same tag name of this slider to this particular object so we can change the fill as we change the state of the slider okay we want to also use this device to change the fill color alongside this one so we double click on this one we move to vertical and then we need to assign the same tag to it and then slider one if we come to the property we can see the top down that shows the movement where you want to go and then we have the vertical movement so our top value is zero and then our bottom value is 100 okay and then from here the refresh location you select where exactly you want the movement to happen we are saying that we, when we move towards the bottom that's where the the varying of the slider should happen we can choose that if we move towards the middle we can choose that if we move towards the top so for now we click ok and ok again and then we move to runtime okay so we can see that if i move this object down i'm able to control the fill of this particular object perfect so you can also use other devices to control a specific slider using the touch link sliders okay let's go back and then now let's choose we want to use the top and remember immediately you choose top you have to change these parameters too as well so here it becomes 100 here 0 100 zero and then i click ok ok again go to runtime and you can see that now the movement is towards the top 
this is the starting point and then the movement is towards the top perfect okay so let's look at the horizontal side so we undo this one go to horizontal left and right by default it has selected left for us so we assign the tag let's slide that one I select it I say okay we go to runtime and we can see that horizontal movement is also controlling our slider perfect okay so this brings us to the end of uh, the touch link kindly try your hands on everything that we've done here today thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye